When defining your model in Rhino, with the intention of fabricating it with the three-axis CNC router in the KTH Architecture School workshop, it is important to respect the general limitations of three-axis CNC milling. While the position of the router is controllable in the X, Y and Z axes, no X or Y rotation is possible, so the router bit always cuts perpendicularly to the machine bed. This means that there can be no overhangs, there can be no void under mass, no mass over void, since the CNC router can only reach vertically where it has already removed material. The length of the tool you use also influences the maximum depth that you can cut into your material stock. Holes that are too deep for the tool length or too steep for the cutting length cannot be milled by tools which are insufficiently dimensioned, since that would risk a collision between the material and the collet, which is disastrous, or yield excessive rubbing between the smooth shank of the router bit and the material, which can lead to disruptive vibrations, potentially loosening the router bit. The diameter of the tool defines the minimum possible radius for it to mill. A tool with a diameter of 10 mm cannot mill any concave corner smaller than 5 mm in radius. This means that when it comes to right angle corners, only those convex are possible to mill in a straight angle. For concave ones, there will always be a radius left unmilled, equal to the radius of the tool. The height of the model to be milled cannot be higher than the maximum allowed cutting depth for the given tool, including a safety margin of 10 mm from the collet. To calculate the maximum height for the model, here we use this flat end mill, take the length of the tool in millimeter, subtract 25 mm, which is the distance the tool needs to be inserted into the collet. This yields the same value as stated here in the length below collet column. Subtract an additional 10 mm, which is the minimum margin between the material and the collet, and you get the maximum possible cutting depth, so here 41 mm. If the maximum possible cutting depth for the given tool is larger than the height of your material stock, then there is no issue, since you will be milling necessarily shallower than the maximum cutting depth. If the maximum possible cutting depth, however, is smaller than your material stock, then you will have to make sure that there is no geometry to be milled further down from the top surface of the material than the maximum cutting depth. It is okay to use a tool with 41mm maximum depth for a 70mm thick material, as long as the actual milling does not extend beyond 41mm from the top surface of the material stock. This concludes the first part of this tutorial series, introducing the limitations of free-axis CNC router mill.